fabulous. You look fine. Aunt Bee got that vest at Albuquerque's premier boutique for imperfect and remaindered clothing. It's very stylish. Mm. Hey, Marcus, you lose a bet or something? See? Instead of listening to other people, go look in a mirror and decide for yourself. <laughs> During my formative years, I was ridiculed for my sense of fashion. Look at those flared white pants, that yellow bow tie. I was the epitome of style. And yet, in spite of my trend-setting ways, do you know what they called me? Geek? Nerd? Poindexter? Mama's boy? Tasty face, knobby neat egghead? Yes! Oh, uh, which one? All of them! Oh, uh, lucky guess. Oh. Who is Ruby kidding? I, I do look ridiculous. I am through taking fashion advice from my mother. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> Whoa! I ain't sticking around to get blamed for this. <gasps> but Principal Mulligan, it ain't what it looks like. Literature treats its readers to wildly imaginative and strangely bizarre tales. <laughs> Many famed authors have contributed to shaping the fantasy genre. Poe, for example, raised the short story to an art form and penned numerous tales of fantasy. Who? Edgar Allan Poe. You know, the Black Cat, Fall of the House of Usher. Duh, they sound boring. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth, Rod. Why, take Poe's The Telltale Heart, for example. It's the tale of a murderer tormented by his own guilty conscience. The killer seemingly gets away scot-free, only to be haunted by the disembodied beating of his victim's heart. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. The police are in the house, completing the investigation, when suddenly the killer jumps up and shouts... I did it! I did it! Oh, Marcus, I see you've read the story. Other 19th century fantasy writers of note include Lewis Carroll, who peppered his two most famous works with thought-provoking puzzles and riddles. In Through the Looking Glass, for example, our heroine, Alice, passes through a mirror into another world. The story progresses like a chess match. <coughs> I'll be suspending Johnny. Johnny's not in class because he's getting suspended. Johnny's out class because he's getting suspended. Johnny's getting new suspenders. <laughs> well, he won't be the only sharp-dressed fellow around here. I decided to dress up for this special day. You mean dress like an idiot day? No, silly. It's our 10-year anniversary. That's 10 glorious years of being ah. together. Thanks for reminding me. And ruining my day. Johnny deserves to get suspended. I hear he wrecked a boy's bathroom. But uh, what if it was someone else and Johnny is being punished for something he didn't do? Of course he did it. It's just the type of thing he would do. Besides, if Johnny didn't do it, who did? Me? Lydia? Ruby? You? Me? Oh, uh, why do you think I did it? What makes you suspect me? Easy, Marcus. I was kidding. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Good one, Billy. <laughs> Look at him, racked with guilt. <laughs> and all because he didn't admit to what he'd done. It makes me want to look through my scrapbook. <laughs> it's filled with boiler cam shots of all our good times together. Remember the time the kids caused the sewer to back up on us and short out the Enviro Master? 
Remember the time the kids sicked those dinosaurs on us and... Destroyed yeah. my Enviro Master? Confound it. The highlights of my villainous career are a collection of disasters. All compliments of those four pesky children. I'm a genius, and yet I continually lose out to those average kids. Oh, if only I could come out on top once, just once. Wait, that's it. I'll send them on a mind-bending, otherworldly journey, just like Alice in Through the Looking Glass. <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? I didn't say anything funny. How long do you think they'll suspend him for? A week? Two? Oh, I should have taken responsibility for what I did right away. It's too late to tell the truth now. I'll get suspended. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, I can't take it anymore. Boy, it's never taken me four flushes before. That's a record. But I'm innocent. I, I didn't do it. Yeah, this sort of senseless vandalism cannot go unpunished. It's very clear that the person <gasps> responsible for this heinous act is... Oh, who Marcus Snark is. Yeah, what brings you by, son? Well, uh, I... I forget. Oh, that's happened to me many times. Oh, why, I remember the time I was giving a speech at the... Prepare to launch, Pro! Aye, aye, Captain. Commencing countdown. Six, five, four, three, Don't two, forget to jiggle the handle. One. Bombs away! Oh, if I don't say anything, then Johnny will get in trouble. But if I say something, then I'll get in trouble. Uh, this isn't so bad, is it, Buford? I mean, uh, you could replace that sink no problem, right? Afraid not, Marcus. That sink was part of a matching set imported all the way from Saskatchewan. Ooh, exotic. Nope. Johnny's really done it this time. Boy, look at that! Johnny ripped the sink right out of the wall! Maybe it was an accident. Maybe he didn't mean for it to happen. in the bathroom when you should be in class. We were just here watching Buford clean up the mess. What mess? The mess from the sink Johnny broke. The sink? It's not broken. Come along, you four. What happened to our school? And since when does Principal Mulligan have a beard? Johnny? Hi, Principal Mulligan. Want to buy a muffin and help save a lemming? You oh, certainly. I want to help, too. You do? But you guys hate lemmings. No, we don't. Just yesterday, you told me you hated lemmings, then ate all my muffins and gave me a swirly. A swirly? Uh, yeah, you know. You dunk someone's head in the toilet, then you flush it and chant, swirly, swirly, swirly. That's so dangerous. I can't believe anyone in our school would do such a terrible thing. Ah! 
Unbeknownst to them, I've transported them to an alternate universe, a mirror version of our world. What a stroke of genius. <laughs> uh, no offense, Phantom, but I think I saw this on TV once. I'll go get the anniversary cake. I'm afraid the swirly incident was the last straw. It's the end of the road for you four. You mean you're suspending us? For how long? Section 4, subsection 3 of the school code. Unruly troublemakers will receive three detentions, followed by a 50-year stay in a cryogenic chamber. What's a cryogenic chamber? It's used to freeze people and place them in suspended animation. Yeah, this way, in 50 years, you'll be some other principal's problem. Now then, who's first? What? Oh. We have four troublemakers loose in the school, Buford. Seek out and capture Marcus Snarkus, Ruby Snarkus, Billy O'Toole, and Lydia Lopez. Wait, let me get the door. Quick, in the broom closet. Hey, you find your own hiding place. Mrs. Snodgrass, what are you doing here? I'm skipping class. But you're the teacher. Not today. <laughs> Happy anniversary, it's been an even ten. If I had a special wish, I'd do it all again. Happy anniversary, you big, lovable, crazed, evil genius. And best friend, you. Here, read the card, read the card. Oh. Today's our anniversary. I wish you lots of luck. I'm running out of things to say. This card cost me two bucks. Very heartfelt. Thank you. Cake time! It's Buford. <gasps> He'll help us. Hey, Buford! <gasps> oh, that's not Buford. This is too weird. Everything is the opposite of the way things usually are. Uh, according to my mini mega mind, we are in another universe. <laughs> A mirror image of our reality. There are opposite doubles of everyone. Principal Mulligan, Johnny, Mrs. Snodgrass. <gasps> but that would mean there should be opposite doubles of us somewhere. Uh-oh. Remember those four kids we passed on the way <gasps> over here? <laughs> trouble and making it look like we did it <gasps> well what do you think phantom mm, not bad can you guess the secret ingredient? Hmm. Mm, almonds? No. Pocket lint. Let's go! Whoa! Oh, what happened? Uh, apparently, this mirror is only an entrance way into this world. The exit must be somewhere else. Wow, this is just like through the looking glass. As... Anyone read the book? I have. Duh. Hip, hip, cheerio. You shan't be mocking me, I trust. No, Rod. We need to know how Alice escapes the looking glass world. Well, she captures the Red Queen and begins to shake her, then wakes up back in her world. Hey, maybe this is all a dream. That's it! Captures the Red Queen, and Mrs. Snodgrass said it herself. Lewis Carroll's story progresses like a chess match. So it stands to reason that our adventure through this mirror world will progress the same way. I'll break the school down into a three-dimensional chess schema. The entrance way, which is our queen, is located in the bathroom mirror. So the exit would be located in the basement. Uh, 
regulations, the exit should be uh, right around this corner. <laughs> 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 Designed to scare us away. But who would want to? To. There's the exit! All right, let's go home. The only place you're going is into a deep freeze. Come along, children. How do you expect me to do my job without the Buford 2000? Well, you could start by taking responsibility and dealing with your problem students instead of passing them off to future generations of principals. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, it, <laughs> goodness, how radical. Uh, yes, I suppose I could. That would be a great idea. Phew, nice going, Marcus. Yeah. How'd you disable the robot with that high-frequency pitch? Uh, guys, I didn't do it. I did. Why, well, you're... you're... Earl P. Sidebottom, and this is my assistant, Raticus. Cheers. My friends call me Earl, but others know me as the Phantom. 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 Right, Phantom. Raticus, what happened? <laughs> I'm giving you the best gift I could ever give you. The gift of friendship. <gasps> ah! Return to sender. I was also the one who got rid of your troublemaking doubles by sending them to your world. When you came here, they went there. <laughs> But don't you see? You just caused an even bigger problem. We're stranded here, and our doubles are causing trouble in our world. Oh, dear. You're right. How irresponsible of me. You could set things right by bringing them back. Oh, I don't know. They'll be awfully mad at me. Stand up to them. Don't let them push you around. Oh, easy for you to say. Look at you in your smart-looking vest. No one would dare mess with you. Here. Now, no one will dare mess with you, either. Oh, boy! <laughs> Look at me. I'm a whole new person. I feel my confidence building. You'll help us? You're on your way home. Come on, Raticus. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind telling you that you're in big trouble, whoever you are. I mean, would you consider making a couple of eye holes in this thing? <laughs> hey! What's the matter? Would you mind closing the window? It's awfully crafty. Hey, Marcus, what are you doing? Just dealing with our problem. What in the world? Oh, no! <laughs> hey, what did I miss? It, did you happen to pass four little troublemakers on your way in here? We did, but that's the last we'll see of them. Principal Mulligan, uh, I have something to tell you. Something I should have told you much sooner. Yeah, well, I'm more than willing to hear you out, Marcus. Uh, but how about untying me first? Hey, uh, uh, Johnny! Uh, I just wanted to apologize for not speaking up and almost letting you take the blame for what I did. Well, thanks for speaking up and getting me off the hook. Well, strange as it sounds, it's a relief to finally take responsibility for what I did. You never told us, Marcus. How did it go with Principal Mulligan? Ready, Marcus? I have to assist Buford with his duties for the rest of the week. <laughs> the funny thing is, I I'm not being punished for breaking the sink. That was an accident. I'm being punished for not speaking up when it happened. 
Let's start by grouting the teacher's bathroom. <sighs> well, one more for the files of Flying Rhino. <sighs> Just like old times. Huh, Phantom? <laughs> Happy 10-year anniversary. And many more. <laughs> 